All right, before I begin, I've been directed to this one video concerning the landing of Philae on 67P from the Rosetta mission. And what I see here is that people have a very firm confirmation bias towards what it is that they believe. And the people who landed on the comet want to believe that it's ice when clearly it's rocks and minerals. Here, I'll list, let you listen to it yourself. Check it out. The comet next year. Of course, and we're going to spend, I think, most of our time talking about Rosetta. But let me ask you uh, the unfair question that I always like to ask scientists at this point in the mission. Can anything be said at this point about the science data returned by Philae? Yeah, I've actually been asked that question a lot, as you can imagine. Not surprised. And, uh, and it's, you know, it's part of the fact that we've, we've had a mission which is run in real time. It's been three months since we got there. People watched in real time as the whole thing happened, and they kind of expect the science to come out the next day. <laughs> um, you know, cameras are more easily interpretable, perhaps, than spectrometers and, and, and plasma data. We know where we landed the first time. We landed in a fairly dusty area, albeit that, that sound file you played at the beginning actually embeds the information that we hit something hard underneath the surface, maybe uh, ice, presumably. And then after bouncing a few times, we ended up in this location where, indeed, it looks very, very structured. Uh, it, it looks like rock, but we, we're very sure that it isn't. We, we've tried to hammer into it. It's got the kind of density of hard ice. We, we're beginning to sniff molecules there. We know there's organic material, which we expect, but now we'll start to analyze what kind of organics. So, I mean, we're kind of drip feeding stuff out as we're getting it from the scientists spread around. Well, did you hear that? It looks like rocks, it's hard like rocks, but no, it's probably ice. I don't think so, guys. These people are convinced to be on a reasonable doubt that it's ice because they need the comet to transport ice and water to older stars, which is, in the theory of stellar metamorphosis, completely unnecessary and on the verge of delusional. It does not take outside bodies to transport water to a star. The star already has the hydrogen and oxygen. All the hydrogen and oxygen do is combine and make water, which rains down onto the interior of the star. It doesn't come from outside rocks randomly orbiting. So what's going to happen is these people aren't going to find any water or ice. They're going to find that it's rocks. And they're going to be in complete denial of it. They're going to proclaim that the comet is ice. And we're not going to hear anything more about it inside of uh, mainstream media. Because they want it to be covered up. And this may sound like a conspiracy, but it's not. Because many careers are resting on the dirty snowball theory. And if comets are not dirty snowballs then they have a lot of face saving to do and it's going to be very interesting to watch it all go down all right